So welcome everyone. My name is Isaac Matt and in today's class I'm going to be showing you how to use the Canva applications to create your designs, your business card, your invitation card, your birthday card, etc etc. So make sure your internet connection is on and just click on the Canva app. Okay, you can download it from Google Play Store. So if you are just starting for the very first time, you may need to sign up for the class. Okay, sign up for the app. Okay, but actually I have signed in into this Canva previously. So I'll just click on continue with Google. Okay, so just select the account you want to sign into or sign up to. So you can see I've been signed in successfully. So the Canva app is much more user friendly, more easy to use than the Pixel app among others because it uses already made templates which you can just pick any of these and make it your own. Okay, You can just customize it to how you want it to be. So you can see we have certificates. We have cards, we have um, Facebook posts, we have flyers, and the rest. Okay, so the difference between all these icons is what that their sizes. Okay, you can see that the Instagram post is a square size, the flyer size, the flyer is much more, the height is longer than the width. Okay, the logo is a square size. Um, for the presentations, the card. You can see that the width is much more longer than the height so there are differences is just their size okay so now you can explore each of these icons one after the other at your leisures okay if you want to check your project you can click here you can have access to the Canva Pro okay the Canva Pro is actually paid okay you can have access you can check your menu edit your settings and the rest so i'll go back to my home now let's say we want to make um a design for someone maybe someone is doing his or her birthday and you want to make a design for that person maybe a paid client or whatever it is okay instead of going through the stress of um checking through all these places you can check that through your let's see you can check through your invitations but instead of going through the stress of that just be specific and search for birthday so whatsoever design you want to make you can just search for it be it athlete marketing you can see there are lots of things you can actually search for let's say real estate You can see there are a lot of things you can actually search for on the Canva app. So we have the templates and we have the designs I've made. So make sure you are on templates. So just scroll down. Now you can see some of them are paid. To have access to these paid templates, you need to have unlocked the Canva Pro. Okay, so I'll just scroll down, scroll down, and then look for a good template I can use that is free. So let's say I want to use this. Okay, I like this. You can use this to display lots of images, but I want to use this now. Just click on it. So now um, the Canva app has what icons you can just click on any of these and start editing so it is very easy to use so I'm just going to 
click on this icon the key you need to customize it and change it to the name of the person you want to use so let's say i want to use something like this so i'm just creating this for the purpose of this class okay so let's explore all these options one after the other okay you can use the edit button to edit if you make a mistake you can also delete your design you can make a copy using the duplicate button you can change the fonts okay there are a lot of fonts you can use some of them are free some of them are pro this um this king logo is showing you that this font is for pro version only so just click on cancel now you can change the size of your design you can change the color so let's say i want to change the color to um white remember you have to use um contrasting colors when designing so i'll just click on cancel now you can change it to bold italics or whatever okay so i'll make it bold so you can space in it you can widen the space and if you have more than two lines you can increase the line spacing okay so i'll go down now we have effects you can add you can add effects to see you can add effects to your design so now to the animation you can make each of these icons to animate okay but when you use the animate icon your work will be saved as a video a five second video so you can do that when you want to make your design a video okay so we have the transparency we'll not be needing the transparency the transparency can be used maybe you want to create um, a shape with less transparency the transparency is just like the opacity in pixel app okay so you can use this transparency when you want to create a watermark and others okay we have the position just like the relative position button you can make your design to be at the left at the top at the middle and wheresoever okay and let's say you want to um, change your position manually you can just use this to change it okay so you can see you can also use your hand to move your icons wherever you want to place them now you can see some purple um, dotted lines this line is your alignment okay so like i said the canva app is much more user friendly now it's telling you that your icon is at the center okay so it is aligned so let's talk more you can copy your link you can lock your icon let's say you don't want um, you don't want to make to touch the icon by mistake you can just lock it and you can also unlock it okay so now what we need to add next is what the picture the image of the person we are designing okay so I'll just select select whatever you want to edit select it and then I'll click on replace so click on upload and then upload from your media okay wherever the image is just click on upload to upload it so let's say I'm selecting this So it's loading once it loads all you need to do is to select it so i've uploaded one previously i'll just select it so you can see it has uploaded you can decide to increase the size if you want to okay so i'll just leave it like that actually the um the canva the canva app their templates are usually good so if you are making any changes you won't have much changes to make just a few except you want to um, make it more different than the already made templates okay so you can decide to change the text of what they write here 
or what they have written there, sorry. So you can see long life and prosperity, okay? So I've made this customized now, okay? You can even delete any of these if you don't want them, okay? Some may say that this is childish, they don't want it, you delete, okay? You can delete. And let's say you make an error, okay? You made an error, you can go back using the undo icon, just go back and replace it okay so now you can decide to change your background color okay just click on don't click on any icon just click on the background itself you can use an image as your background you can also change the color you can change the color to white or brown let's say white and the rest okay but i'll be using the black color as default color okay so after doing all this okay all you need to do next is to what download your icon okay so click on what download and then click on save image So your image has been saved to gallery you can share this um, image with anyone and the person can access it using um, the canva app or the google chrome app or any other browser so you can just copy the link and then i think that will be all the upload button you can also use to upload to instagram twitter and the rest so you can also use the download icon let's say you want to save it in another way okay you can save it as png jpeg you can save it as pdf if you want to print it okay you can save it as um, gif and the rest okay so let's say you want to print your design you can decide to save it as pdf okay click on pdf and then click on download so that's if you want to print your design you can also save it as png and then you click on download so that will be all thank you for staying tuned into this class i remain your humble and loyal isaac matt bye